This is a reading vlog and a live vlog and a rant vlog. Hello, what else? My name is Monique. Welcome back to yet another reading vlog. In case you didn't know, this is Book Reviews, my channel. Why I say that so fast, I don't know. This is vlog number 38 because we apparently number things now. But it is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Happy holidays. It is almost Christmas. Christmas is going to be a weird one this year because in case you didn't know the rules in the uk have been changed once again which is probably smart it's just sad because we were hoping sort of seeing christmas as like a light at the end of the tunnel about it in some ways however i do think it is the right thing to do i just wish that the powers above had sort of decided to very early on say Christmas will not be happening in the sort of regular way because there's so many other religions in the UK as well whose celebrations have been like cancelled because the UK is a mainly Christian country and Christmas was sort of like a holy thing like you can't touch it and I'm like I think I didn't think it was fair in the beginning but at the same time it was like it was a nice way of being able to see some people and have a nice time um and now we can't do that so we'll see what christmas actually happens we'll see what this vlog is um and other than that we're just going to take it a day at a time it is as i mentioned tuesday which means i have today and i have two more days left of work because i will actually be working on the 24th which normally for me is christmas because but we're just going to do the best that we can and have a nice time hopefully but reading update that's what this is this is a reading vlog and a live vlog and a rant vlog whatevs this is A Phoenix First Must Burn, which is my current read. It is a short story anthology that explores like black girl magic by mainly uh, black female authors. I am like two thirds of the way through. I'm having a hard time sort of power reading it because it is short stories, which I have like a weird relationship with. For a long time, short stories didn't speak to me at all. However, this year I have read quite a few of them and have enjoyed some very much aka The Empress of Salt and Fortune by Ni Wo. It's beautiful, please read it. A few in here that I've already enjoyed and definitely a few that's like, oh, I want to read something more by this author, which is why I think short story anthologies are also quite nice. But this is what we're reading currently. I was thinking about picking up another book at the same time. I just haven't because I accidentally yesterday uh, started The Mandalorian and then that was what I was doing instead. I've also been working on my mom's Christmas present, so I haven't really been reading because I need to do other stuff with my hands so i've just been watching youtube and things but other than that this is a quite a normal tuesday i got some not quite book mail but almost book mail so this is my 2021 always fully booked planner i got the always fully booked planner for the first time in 2020 because obviously I started being more serious about bookstagram and tracking my reading and writing reviews and this is the one from last year and this is the one this year i think they're about the same yeah they're ex actually exactly the same size this is obviously more cutesy but i'm actually really crazy about the coloring scheme for this year yeah, so always fully booked is by little inklings design who i will leave a link to down below she does like novel companions it's a very cute little shop she also does like stickers and stuff and basically you have like it's a calendar that's made specifically for book lovers so it has like tbr pages it has anticipated releases it has like a little like a wish list and it has i'm gonna show you this is super cute it has like little book things that you can like track on but i'm super excited already for this new one it's very very pretty so it's just so pretty and it's just a nice way of keeping an eye on all of your books the road is especially loud today so i'm gonna i'm gonna finish this here now speak to you guys later hello team it is wednesday i really really desperately need a haircut as my girlfriend said that i was growing a mullet earlier so now i want to shave it all off but i just came in for a really quick reading update i meant to do this earlier and then i didn't so now we got the bad lighting we're gonna live i did finish a phoenix first must burn yesterday and i really enjoyed some of them i adored um Justine Ireland's uh, short story in here called Mealy or Millie. Um, Justina Ireland wrote uh, Dread Nation, which is one of my favorite books that I've read this year. There were 
a couple of really interesting ones as well. There was a surprising amount of uh, queer rep and there is even a non-binary rep in here, which I really enjoyed. Ended up giving it three and a half stars because there were a couple of them that even as short stories, I just thought didn't have like, like a plot. Another book off of the TBR, this was on as my magical realism uh, number. I'm not entirely sure whether it's going to fit properly or whether I'll fit another read on there as that number. But part of this is like, it's speculative. So there is some fantasy elements, some sci-fi elements, some futuristics sort of stuff. Um, there's a superhero one as well. I also got some very nice uh, book mail. So this is the latest book in the Guilt Hunter series from Nailin Isai. This is Archangel's Son. Um, the Guild Hunter series is a urban fantasy, sort of a romance novel with angels and vampires. And I love Nelly Tsai's writing so, so, so much. In the first book, Angel's Blood, we meet Elena, who is a vampire hunter. And she sort of gets contracted to um, track down this um, archangel because in this world vampires are created by angels and angels are sort of like at the top of the hierarchy and stuff in suit is the newest book i bought this because basically sarah j mass was in conversation with nailini sai and since i love both of them so much and can definitely see uh, sarah j mass's sort of inspirations from some of the nailini sai series I just I love them so much so if you really enjoyed Sarah J Mass's newest book um, Crescent City I would highly recommend the Guilt Hunter series because there is angels and all of this kind of stuff I actually mention it in my uh, urban fantasy recommendations which I believe I'm going to do another one off but yeah so I finally got this this is from The Strand it also has a nice little um author plate so that's nice i'm very excited about getting to this one however i still haven't read the previous one that um i got from a fake crate box because i really really desperately want to reread the whole series and then i'm like stopping myself from reading but i do miss um her writing and i do miss paranormal romance so that's the update for today it's the 23rd of December and it doesn't really feel like Christmas, but you know, we're going to do our best and then I'm going to be back with another hello tomorrow when it is official Christmas in my brain. So good morning team. It is first day and it is the 24th of December, which means that in Danish terms, it is Christmas. Merry Christmas team. I am working, so that's wonderful. I'm also working in my Christmas pajamas, which have teeny tiny polar bears on it. It's super cute. Yes, I am working in pajamas and a full face of makeup because that's what I felt like. I haven't started a new book yet because my brain. And um, I will start one. Probably not today or tomorrow, but we will start one after that. I still have three official books on my TBR or five on my unofficial ones because I need to read two books before getting to the third book. And I am thinking about reading the first book again. I'm talking about The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, which was my first read of 2020. And I think it would be rather fun to finish on that series at the end of 2020. I also have some not quite book mail, but bookshop stuff because I wanted them. So let's look at it. So I was looking at these the other day and I was like, do I need them or do I want them in the like new covers? But this shop downstairs had the entire series of uh, The Luna Chronicles by Marissa uh, Meyer in paperback in the original covers. I didn't know The Luna Chronicles is a fairy tale retelling set in a sci fi universe. The first one is Cinderella with Cinder. Then we have Little Red Riding Hood as Scarlet. We have Cress at. Um, I'm thinking Tangled as Rapunzel, that's the one, and Winter, which is Snow White. I love these. I have them all in ebook. I regularly reread them. I think I've reread them like reread, reread, blah, blah, blah. I think I've reread them maybe about twice or three times the entire series, and I really want a, another reread. And these are in quite good shape. Like they're not the most beautiful, but they were also only 99 p per book so, so i asked my girlfriend to go get them for me this morning because i saw that cinder had popped in because they only had the three other books and i was like 
Should I get them? Should I not get them? And now it's like a little present for me. Even though we are opening presents tonight and I'm very excited. And then obviously we'll be going into my book buying van in January. So the little haul. Merry Christmas team. I don't know if I'll be back later with another update. You might just get like B-roll footage of tomorrow. Maybe because it, because of all the Christmas rules and stuff, we've obviously made some changes. So instead of being at my girlfriend's parents' house, we will now be at home tonight and have Christmas in sort of the Danish way. And then tomorrow for a day, we will go see her sister who we are still allowed to go see. But other than that, we are not really allowed to do things. And then we'll be going into another lockdown. So anyways, I hope you're having a great day. I will speak to you guys when I speak to you. Bye. Evening babies. It is Saturday somehow. Welcome back to the reading vlog. Um, it's the 26th of December, which would normally mean that I would be at a very big Christmas lunch in Denmark, but we are not. So we are just trying to keep the mood up. The mood is exciting. I've eaten a lot of chocolate today. But I did think I should show you guys my little Christmas haul. I sort of started. I read the first couple of pages of When the Tiger Came Down the Mountain by Niwo, which is the second book in the Singing Hills series. The first book, The Empress of Salt and Fortune, was my very first five-star read this year. I absolutely adored it and I could not wait to read another book from them, even though, so this is not on my TBR, even though I literally just said in my last clip that we're now going back on the TBR. We did not, but I did read the first couple of pages on Thursday and then I finished it this morning. It is a, like, a really short little 100-page uh, short story where we basically in the same way as the empress of salt and fortune follow chi who is a gender non-binary like monk slash historian who is traveling through this asian inspired fantasy world collecting stories and i love them and they are great and this one features tigers the cover is one of my favorites of this year but yes i meant to go back onto my actual tbr because we do still currently have three books on it which translates to five books on it and I have only a few days left of December but I don't really have any plans so we'll see how it goes. I am meant to be reading The Song of Achilles which was the book that I meant to pick up by Madeline Miller which is on my book as my chance card as a booktube favourite. I'm debating whether I should swap it for City of Bones. Is that the one by Cassandra Clare? I feel like it is or I should just read this one because I want to read it really badly but I don't feel in the mood for it. And at the same time, I'm also just kind of like, I really just want to watch YouTube and not really do anything. But anyway, this is a rambly beginning to this vlog clip. So let's go through some books that I got for Christmas. Yes, most of these are from my lovely, lovely girlfriend. But one is not. One is from my friend Jack, who I met via Bookstagram. And I love him. He's really sweet. We're really good. And it's just, he's wonderful and he sent me a birthday present and somehow he sent me an arc of one of my most anticipated releases of fucking 2021. And it is Witches Steeped in Gold by Sian and Smart, which is coming out on the 20th of April next year from anything Hotkey Books. I know things. I work with publishing. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it is coming out in April next year. I have been craving it and crying for it and trying really hard for any of them to like to find an arc that someone would send me and I really desperately wanted an actual arc of it and somehow Jack got an extra arc for me because he's just delightful and um, this is just so exciting. This is a book... Um, set in a Jamaican inspired fantasy world where we are following two different witches who I believe are from warring sort of not quite tribes but from warring fractions of this government and they all of a sudden have to work together to save their country. Don't ask me what my hair is doing. I really desperately need a haircut and we can't because we're going back into lockdown today. So woo yay team thing. But anyway that is one. So excited. Thank you so much, Jack. I'm going to leave a link to him down below. He's really wonderful on Bookstagram, super inclusive and has a lot of recommendations for queer books. So if you would like to follow him in there, I really think you should. I got a little stack of books from my girlfriend because she knows that I love books. And it was a bit surprising that she actually bought me books because she kept saying that she wouldn't. And um, my family has for years and years, or at least in the last 10, decided that they will not give me books anymore. 
because I have too many and then I cry at them. But this is the first one. This is Hag Forgotten Folk Tales Retold, which is a short story anthology. I believe about sort of like odd fairy tales and they're like retellings of a kind. I it's gonna read you what's inside. Dark, potent and uncanny hag bursts with the untold stories of our isles captured in voices as varied as they are vivid. Here are sisters fighting for the love of the same woman, a pregnant archaeologist unearthing impossible bones and lost children following you home. A panther runs through the forest of England and pixies prey upon violent men. From the island of Scotland to the coast of Cornwall, the mountains of Galloway to the depths of the fens, these forgotten folk tales howl, cackle and sing their way into the 21st century wildly reimagined by some of the most exciting women riding in Britain and Ireland today. I am literally just stoked. All of me wants to read this so badly right now. I saw it in Waterstones and then Ashley from uh, Frolic Through Fiction mentioned it and I was just kind of like I've gotten more into short story anthologies this year or at least trying. It has this stunning very bright cover. It's super orange inside and then a very sort of chilly black. This is so funky funky thingy anyway very very excited about reading this one and she just picked it up because we spoke about it and apparently she thought i needed an extra little gift because she is cute and i love her then girlfriend also got me a copy of a much anticipated release that i have just not been able to get my hands on yet and that is ray bearer by jordan ifiku i have heard only amazing things about this uh south african or nigerian inspired fantasy in it we follow a young girl called tisarari Tissarai? Tissas. Tarisai. I'm fucking up her name. But anyway, she has been raised in isolation by a woman called the Lady, and the Lady one day gives her word. She gives her orders to go to the capital to become one of the crown prince's like inner circle and like make a bond with him, which is everything that our main character wants. And then the Lady tells her that she has to kill her. And apparently there is some truly beautiful LGBT um, like rep in here. And it's just, I'm very, very, very excited about reading it. Also, this cover, in case you couldn't tell, there's a face here. When I saw it the first time, I was more excited about the UK, like the US cover than the UK cover. But then I saw it and I was like, no, no, it's cute, like lions. And then people, someone was like, oh, there's a face there. And I was like, what? Like, what? And then I was like, no, I can't unsee it. And it's just, it's just such a cool cover. And I'm very, very, very excited about reading this one. Then Girlfriend also got me a couple of books that I have read, but that which I do not have in sort of these editions. Or in this case, I don't have it in physical copy. I read this book um, from the library. This is The Wren Hunt by Mary Watson, which is a magical realism book, which is so weird and yet lives rent free in my head. I absolutely adore it. Basically, we follow Wren, who is one half of these almost like witches. Basically, the magic population in this book is split into two, and Wren is an aqua, and she ends up going almost undercover in to this internships for her like people's enemy basically to try and figure out how to save her family's magic it is so weird sort of eerie like magical but not super in your face magical and it's just so weird and so wonderful i absolutely also loved the almost sequel called the wicker light which is a copy that i must have because it just it's just stunning. I also really love this cover. The second book doesn't fit this cover, which annoys me a little bit. But overall, it's a book that I definitely think more people should pick up. And then, because I love them so much. I love these books so I love them so much. This is an omnibus hardback cover of the Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials, which is a much acclaimed, very successful almost magical realism, almost fantasy, almost like alternative universe series where we follow Lyra who is sort of growing up in an alternative Oxford to our own where every human has a sort of animal companion who switches shape when they, you are young and then as you grow older it settles into one shape and it is sort of like a personification of yourself. And this is, yes, the first three books in the series. And I just, I love it a lot. I have the whole series in 
beautiful, amazing hardcovers, which were like some of the first books in my collection, but in Danish. And then I have the new series, The Book of Dust, obviously in hardcover in English. And I have just really, really desperately wanted this bind up because I love this cover. There is like this spine, like it speaks to my soul and I just love it so much. And then also just this red and this, this, I just, I love it. It has a ribbon bookmark. And yes, basically Lyra sets out one day to try and find some of these children that are being abducted. And she finds out that the world is a whole lot bigger than what she thinks it is. And there may be a prophecy with her name on it. And I love her and I love Yorick. And I just, I hate that they've changed the covers for some of the books now because there is a TV series. I like the TV series. I don't love it mentally, but I am going to continue watching it because it is made really well. And it also has Lin-Manuel Miranda as Lee Scoresby, who is just perfect. Perfect casting, perfect everything. I will take that. So yes, this is the first three books all bind up. Obviously, we are talking teeny tiny writing, very thin pages. There's also like little extras. I just, I love, I love this edition and I just really desperately wanted it. And my girlfriend is very cute and got it for me. So yes, I thought overall that this was a very successful Christmas little haul. I have a few more books coming in the next week, which, which will be my last bought books for a while because I am going on a very strict ban. So that is the Saturday for you. I am now gonna go and edit a video that I'm hopefully having up today. And then I will hopefully be doing some reading and then my girlfriend will come home at one point and then we just can chill because we're not allowed to do anything else. And then I will finish up this vlog tomorrow. Sunday. Yes, so the end of this reading vlog. I'm not gonna end it quite yet. I have some book mail which is via the gift card that I got from my work for Christmas. This will be one of my last book hauls. I believe I'm still missing two books that should be coming in the mail but I thought let us open it. Also reading wise I finally started The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller which is on my TBR. I'm really bad at this. Read this open. Da, 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 da. Da, da. Ooh. This is The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen, which is a YA fantasy book where I believe the people are split into different castes. So, and each cast has a different kind of magic and they're all sort of connected to birds. So the crows are sort of ostracized. They get their magic from teeth and they are also the ones who deal with the dead in this city. And then the highest one up are the phoenixes. And I believe that our main character sort of comes in to take away the bodies of the prince of phoenixes and then finds out that he might not be dead. I wasn't sure about reading this book, not because I haven't heard quite a lot of actually like sm small amounts of raving from people about this book, but I follow the author on Instagram and Twitter and she's just really funny and I thought why not pick this up. It's a duology. The second book is called The Faithless Hawk and I just want to read this. Also, I really love this cover. It looks like it's blue underneath. Ooh, ooh it is blue. We got a little crow on the unboxing an interesting spine so that is the first little book oh we got a good map on the inside too and then i just got some little stickers for my for my calendar and stuff and then we got this big baby okay we got two books yay 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 so this is the third book in the uh, Witchland series by Susan Denner. This is Blood Witch. I was a little bit scared about the change in the hardcovers that I know are coming and that we've already seen, or at least the paperback is completely different. But I wanted to make sure that I had the first three books in the sort of same range. So this is a very nice, but ooh, that's a solid spine right there. You be stunning. Wonderful. Will you fit with the other one? Where's the truth? 
like at least we're the same heights we're not quite the same because they did do a change in the covers but i believe that this one matches my second one and if not then as long as they're the same height i uh, don't really care and oh, that's not the one i want why did i do this to me so in case you didn't know i have been trying to find the covers for the Tamea series by Naomi Novik, which is a historical fantasy series set during the Napoleon War, but with dragons where we follow a naval officer who sort of reluctantly become a dragon rider. And there are, these are the new covers. They are what they are. I don't think they're particularly cute. And then we have the original covers, which I think are much cuter and much cooler. And I have some of the books in this cover, but every time I try and like every time I find it where they show this cover, I'm like, great, I'm gonna get it. So I got it. This is not the cover I was promised. I'm very annoyed. But yes, that's just what we're gonna have to deal with. These are some few books. I am waiting for two other books, and then my December haul will be done, and I will not be allowed to buy any more books for a good couple of months. So good things on that. now monday the 28th which means that we are in this stretch between christmas and new year's where i don't know what day it is or what time it is so i thought it would be a good time to now finish uh, this vlog so i finally edited it and it should hopefully be up today but we'll see how it goes because my editing software has been a little bit of a nightmare but we are in a new pair of overalls they are orange i got them for christmas from my parents because i love overalls how many pairs do you have now Oh, and they are now a staple of my wardrobe so i hope you enjoy the orange the pumpkin the yeah anyway reading update and then i'm gonna finish this so i am about 100 pages from the end of the song of over achilles i'm quite sad because i was really hoping to love this in the same way that i really loved cersei i am extremely interested by mythology by myth by retellings what we can sort of take from like ancient history and like stories that have been handed down from generations and madeline miller has this incredible way of telling stories of things that we might already know but from a new perspective and the song of achilles is told from patrocles's perspective patrocles was the closest friend and sort of uh, advisor to Achilles who is one of the great big Greek heroes and this is a book that once again um, follows sort of along the fall of Troy and I have read quite a few Greek me retelling sort of books this year and last year and maybe I am just a little bit fed up with the same sort of narrative where I thought that Cersei was something completely new. This one, once again, we are just following along in Achilles' footsteps and it annoys me. And even this time, though we are not following a woman, we are following a man who is softer and sort of more of a spectator to the sort of wonder that is Achilles. And though the writing is absolutely stunning, I'm not crazy about it. I sort of just want it to finish and then I want to put it on my shelf and then hopefully at one point I will come back to it and I'll be like, whoa, yeah, amazing, I loved it. But so many people might have like upped my expectations for this because people were like, you're gonna get your heart ripped out. It's so good, it's so amazing. And I'm just a little bit like, okay. So yes, last 100 pages. Then I have on my TBR, Kings of the Wild and The Mask Falling, but The Mask Falling obviously also holds an additional two books, which is The Song Rising and The Mime Order and a possible reread of the 
bone season which i may decide to do but we have three days left of this year so we'll see how I anyway go. that is the end of this reading vlog this will be the longest one i think i have ever done so if you are still here thank you so much for following along in my ranting i hope you enjoyed the lantern trail i hope you enjoyed my last bit of hauling before the new year and then i hope that you will click that thumbs up button hit the subscribe button at the same time so you don't miss out on any other videos from me i upload quite regularly lots of book content even some writing content if that is something that interests you and then I hope that you are doing okay in this weird Christmas December period and that you know that you are not alone. I am proud of you and you are doing great. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye. Also coffee because I need it. It's fucking freezing in my house.